the real mobile devices are about communication. We are about connecting to people. I can only say that because it, it just sounds very funny coming out of my mouth. But in the end, that's really what it's about. It's about connecting to people. And so that's why voice is still going to dominate. I think voice will always dominate. Or, or some form of person-to-person -person communication will dominate. And that's what I'm excited about the way the web is going, because the web is going back to more of the one-to-one -one communication or one-to-five communication. From Nokia's perspective, I mean, is it the technology and technology change that is going to be driving the change in the learning environment in 2017? Or was it, in fact, just enabling the change? That's actually a really great question, because um, coming from how I see things, I think I, I'm not a techno optimist because I think people make straight lines in terms of the technology and say, oh, you know, because I was looking back 10 years seeing what the mobile devices were looking like. And in many ways, they're very different. Let's say it was the 2110 back then that Nokia was selling. Now it's the N95. And you would say, oh, but look, there's camera, there's video, there's color. But in reality, the bulk of what we use it for is still voice and text, which is exactly what we used 10 years ago. And um, up to now, there's been a scarcity. Uh, of everything, in teachers, in knowledge, in access to information. And um, the part that I am optimistic is to, to not necessarily look at the device and focus on the device, but um, keep focusing on the needs that we have. And those things are, are still the same. But um, what, I, what my optimism is, is that by, uh, it's, it's still about the people who are involved, the students, the teachers, the people who have the knowledge, um, the people who are producing the knowledge. and. Uh, what I think devices will be doing, for sure, will be making that connection easier. And that might be the major discontinuity in education, allowing us to truly um, be, bring um, studies and, and learning and all that to everybody who's out there and everywhere they, they can be. Um, so, uh, so that's my goal, my desire, where education could go and, and infuse with the mobile. But uh, my big worry is that um, issues with scaling all that, that um, the whole reason we have the education system we have now is because we need to produce a lot of knowledge people, people to, to work in industrial environments, people to work in factories, people to be really good. But as the developed world moves to a less industrial age and a more um, design focused, emotion focused, um, <coughs> softer kind of things that can be replicated by industrial education, how are we going to still educate those people in those softer, uh, more emotional things, uh, yet not have to force them to come into uh, schools, force them to come into a place where someone will get up on a lectern and, and, and talk out? Um, I don't think we can scale that, and that's going to be, for me, when I look at education moving forward, infusing with mobile devices and the internet and all that, um, it's the scalability issue. How do we keep that people to people? It's a big problem in the scalability, and actually where the mobile learning comes in because if um, learning gets distributed um, and also the fact that people are learning on the job a lot more and that the job cycles are shorter so that a corporation might not want to put someone in certificate training because the investment is going to be lost, um, how, how do we then allow someone to have a portability in terms of their what they've done and I think um, keying into what Elizabeth always talks about is portfolios and how can me as, a, as a, an employee, as a career employee of my own life, my own brand, uh, working through multiple companies, carry something along to show what I've done and what I've accomplished. Um, so I think uh, the, the looking now that, that you have all these universities that are online, you can get PhDs online, uh, how do we allow someone to be outside the school system of a formal sit down, you know, six week course, um, but outside that, what we have in 2000, what we had in 2007, how do we do that in 2017 when people no longer go to a sit-down course? They're learning a ton of stuff on the job, and they want to get recognition for that. How do we make it easier for people to understand when it's no longer about a resume and a bunch of lists of lines and recommendations, but actually something tangible that a person can carry with them and say, "This is what I've done." So I think this is going to be interesting moving, moving um, looking back, how the employees. Um, have allowed that to be more public and allowed the, the, the person to, to have a better portfolio.